I'm Warren Miller, the Director of Sales and Marketing with Paradise Energy Solutions. And my name is Charles Fox, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. And uh, today we're going to talk about the, uh, the cost of going solar, or whether yeah. solar is expensive compared to other options. So Charles, oftentimes we hear that solar is expensive. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, so there is that initial sticker shock. Yeah. And one way to look at solar is you're going to spend more money over time continuing to buy your power from the utility versus owning, owning your own generation facility. So it's, we like to talk about it in terms of renting versus owning. Which mindset do you have? Because renting over time, you come to the end of the term, the lease, whatever you're doing, uh, buying power from a utility for all your life, you have no asset, nothing to show for. But, and there really is no end date. There's no end to the yeah, lease. No you're you're going to be paying that for ongoing. And we've become so okay with that with utility. It's just the way of life. It's the way my parents did it. It's the way you know, I'm doing it. And so it's become comfortable and it's really not the best option. You have no control over it, Charles. You have yeah. no control over how much your electric rates are going to increase, when they're going to increase, how frequently they increase. You have absolutely no control. You're at the mercy of the utility yeah. company and you just got to pay the bill. Right, the utility decides how much you're going to pay them and how much that is worth. So, so clearly going solar is a better way with the understanding that there's an upfront investment and yeah. potentially a substantial upfront investment, but over the long term, it is by far less expensive. Correct? Yeah, and, and so as solar advisors, consultants, uh, it's our job to help people understand that, yeah, there is that initial sticker shock, and that feels maybe expensive, yeah. but the reality is over time, uh, you're going to spend more money renting your power from the utility than generating your own power. And so are you willing to take that bite, take that, you know, that hard knock up front, spend the money for solar, uh, but then, then have it uh, save you a lot of money over time? So the benefit of going solar is you make that upfront investment now, and once you get over that investment, you potentially have free electricity for the life of your system, which could be 25 to 40 years or more. So I saw into the mind of our listeners, yes, and I hear them saying, "But what if I'm not in my home 30 years, or you know, I'm not even going to ever save enough money in that home?" Uh, how would you answer that question? You know, I heard that too, Charles. <laughs> and I'll t I'll tell you this: that one of the great things about solar is the majority of the money is paid back or earned back in the early years, yeah. in years one through five or six. And so if you're gonna be staying in your house or your business for, for five or year more, uh, more years, it probably makes a world of sense for you to go solar. It yeah. also increases your property value. Right. You have an asset right. now versus a liability. Yeah. If you were buying a home, Charles, and one home had solar and the other one didn't, and they were apples to apples comparisons, yeah. there's no decision to make. That's right, right. So hopefully uh, you looking at solar, that initial cost doesn't cloud your judgment in making a long-term decision that's actually going to save you more money over time. Right. 